hiyo shamba tunataka tuchunguze ni kina nani wamenunua hiyo shamba hiyo shamba mnasema muliuziani ni kina nani walinunua hiyo shamba na walinunua wali aje na hiyo pesa na hiyo pesa iko wapi na ilianda wapi singelipa hii deni tunaambia iko kwa KCB let them not think that we are stupid we are not stupid hata mimi nimechoka you have never seen me this way lakini nimeona madharao of the highest point na mimi ningemwambia mheshimiwa rais how 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 wanakutishikisha kitu inaitwa handball they are not politicians you are a politician wake up We should be given first priority. Yes. We are the owners. We, we can buy shares. Yes. Come on, Portland. Sit to Patu and Nini. At least you can earn some shares as opposed to being shareholders in, in another big thing. Human rights. It's, it's a human yeah. rights issue. Yeah. Yeah. So the community can even choose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you can know. Yeah. It's, 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 no, that's okay. Don't worry. Yes. Hii maneno ya Portland imekuwa shida kubwa kwa sisi. Na tumekuja hapa kuangalia to assess the damage. The demolition ambayo imeendelea. Mimi nataka niseme kama mjumbe wa mavoko wakati kama huu ambao uchumi umekuwa shida vile iko ambao serikali inasema tunafanya affordable housing mimi nauliza kama mnataka kutujengea nyumba na sisi Mungu ametubariki tukajenga hii ndogo yetu mbona mnatubomolea kweli kabisa na ndio nimekuja na niko hapa kwa heshima bwana rais bwana rais na kuomba na mimi najua wewe ni mcha Mungu we goja 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 waheshima wenzangu waheshima wameongea na ukiangalia mahali economy ya Kenya imefika Leo hii my heart goes to those whose properties were destroyed. Leo hii kujenga nyumba ya room moja ni gharama ambayo haijaonekana. Ni sawa government is for the people by the people for the people. Portland ni mali ya serikali. Hata kama iko nini ama nini tumesema shamba ya Portland. Na kama kwa kweli serikali inasema inataka kuuza. Mimi kama mbunga wa Mavoko tumefanya vikao mbalimbali mbali na Portland na wakakubali watauzia wata wananchi wakaji wa Machakos County hiyo ama hilo shamba na tena hata kama iko maneno ya koti kwa sababu serikali ni ya watu pia awange kuwa wanakimbia kuja kubomolea watu rais na kuheshimu sana na mimi najua historia yako ilisema vizuri hadithi yako tunaijua mahali umetoka mpaka mahali umefika huyo mwananchi ambaye amebomolewa hiyo nyumba 
sio tofauti na hadithi yako mimi ningekuomba kwa heshima kama unaanza nisikia saa hii ambia wenye kubomoa hizo manyumba wasimamishe mara moja you are the commander in chief tunakuheshimu na mimi nakuomba kwa unyenyekevu na kwa heshima hao wananchi wanaumia na isiwe wanatolewa ndio matajiri ama mabwenyenye waje wajenge pale itakuwa ni aibu kubwa kuona mwananchi wa kawaida ameondolewa ili hali matajiri wanaletwa na ningetaka kusema najua na naweza peana orodha ya wale watu wote ambao wamepewa 50 100 acres kwa hii shamba ambao wananchi wanatolewa Bwana Rais na kuomba hao wananchi hata wale ambao walikuwa wamejenga pale wangeulizwa walipe pesa kiasi ya ile shamba ambao wamejenga ambapo wamejengea iwe ni 10 by 15 50 by 100 kuota wangeweza kulipa na vile umesema hata budget ya national assembly tulifanya based on bottom up economic model kuanza kuharibia wananchi kama hawa manyumba zao then ayambatani <laughs> na hiyo mwito yako wenzangu wameongea sisi kama jamii tumeumia na mimi kama mbunga wa mavoko hapa iko kabila yote zile nyumba zimebomolewa sio wakamba peke yao iko wa kalenjin iko wa masai wa kisi wa somali kila mtu yako hapo hata wazungu wako hata yale makanisa yamebomolewa mengine walikuwa wanatusaidia kupeana chakula leo hii ile milikasirisha kabisa kwamba hawa waheshimiwa walikuwa wanataka kwenda kupatia wale watu wamebomolewa pengine blanketi pengine chakula lakini hata tu kupewa nafasi ya kuongea tia gas zimeanza kurushwa mambunduki zinakokiwa na unajua tu tumetoka juzi pale wakati wa maandamano watu more than 100 walipigwa risasi na lazima mimi nikachukua hiyo na hawa waheshimiwa tukamwambia wananchi tusia sample kwa sababu nilikuwa naogopa watapigwa risasi kwa hivyo rais kwa heshima ningekuomba hii sio siasa tuko 2023 siasa ni 2027 Your actions will dictate your re-election in 2027. Tenda wema, nenda zako. Kwa wale watu wa mavoko ambao wamebomolewa manyumba, tuko hapa na county government, tuko hapa na waheshimiwa na rais sasa nimekuita. I serve under your national government. Please tukae chini, tuongee. Where there is dialogue, there is way and a positive way but for now i humbly request you please order for those demolitions to stop immediately thank you shocking news of uh, our people being uh, demolished for their properties in their ancestral land and being kicked out this government has always purported internationally to be a, a government that is caring but what we have seen has shocked all of us because we have realized that uh, uh, they absolutely have no humanitarian uh, assistance to our people now uh, we have seen men women children whose homes were destroyed whose property was destroyed uh, we have seen churches we have seen commercial buildings that have been uh, demolished overnight and what we are asking is uh, what have these people done to deserve such inhuman treatment now what we have done is that uh, we went there to attempt to give them uh, humanitarian aid but it was it was very unfortunate because we couldn't even address them when we got there of course uh, the police came in large numbers and told us to vacate the area which was very unfortunate and we actually told the people to maintain peace because we are peace loving citizens now we know the history of the problem of the land we are even aware that there has been a court case and a decision has been made but the reality is that this land is ancestral land that belongs to the Kamba people of Kenya. 
This is ancestral land that has always been ours. And it was given to the government through the parastatal called East African Portland Cement so that they could mine uh, raw materials for production of cement. Now, it is clear that they have finished the work that they had with that land. They have finished the business of, uh, of, 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 of extracting the raw materials. But what they have attempted to do now is to take back that land and then sell it so that they can pay off debts, which they have incurred as a result of doing poor management of their business. And that is the thing we have said we do not accept. Now, they are saying that they will take the back land and sell it. We are asking, there are people who have already settled on that land. Why not give them the first priority, even if it is for them to pay? We negotiate and arrange to be investigated on violation of human rights. And these are the things we are saying as a community we are not going to allow. And I know their fear is because of our unity as a Kamba nation. And we are not going to relent or we are not going to uh, uh, be intimidated because we are united. We are going to stand firm and we are going to stand with our people and we want the demolition to stop immediately so that we can give the entire community living there a dialogue with the government. A dialogue with the government. Why, why, you want to demolish to build new houses? How do you demolish existing houses for you to build new houses? Which economics of scale is this government using? It is very unfair. And I believed that this was a government which was elected on the platform of the common Manainji. Only to realize is a, a government which has been elected on the, float, on the platform of Mabwenye Nye. Wale wanataka kuja kuingia kwa hiyo shamba. Kwa sababu, kama si Mabwenye Nye. Suya chela wale, wale wanainji pale, kila mtu wapewe notice, aelewe, ako kwa shamba ya nani, na tuende dialogue. Surely, why should you destroy people's life? Life is so hard right now. Na sisi, kama viongozi, tumeambia watu watu wakua na amani, lazima tufuate njia ile inawafa, tuwakikishe ya kwamba akizao zimepatikana, wale vitu yao imearibika, tunaenda kotini, tuwakikishe ya kwamba wamepata compensation, kwa sababu, uyo ni mtu wameishi. Pale kuna watu wameishi miaka na miaka, miaka nenda, miaka rudi. We need to be mindful of what we do as leaders and as a government. And I want to urge our, our young men and women to be as calm as possible as we deliberate this issue as leaders. We are uzoni sana. Na especially kwa serikali ambayo ilijista a hustler nation. Kuona wanaeza amurisha manyumba ya watu ya bomolewe vile tumetoka pale na tukashuhudia. Mi nataka kuuliza rais hivi. Ule Ukristo unaongeanga juu yake. Hiyo matendo imeenda wapi? Because tulikuwa na jana EPZ. Na tuna imagine ni wewe ambao uko behind everything. Let us be and let us talk in black and white. Why are we saying this? Even if there was a court ruling, watu walikimbia kotini while eke petition, but you insisted. Gari zote serikali yote ingia hapa, watu waanze kubomolewa. Tafadhali, wale watoto wana, ambao wamelala inje leo. Wale wa mama ambao wamelala inje leo. That is a family like that family of yours. And it is so painful. It is very painful. It's high time. Because tunaona ni vizuri, hii ni mambo ya land grabbing. Na tukasikia jana ukisema, mavoko, if you've not developed your land for 10 years, itachukuliwa. Can you start with Rift Valley? Ndiyo ukuje uku kwetu. We will not allow you to intimidate us. Enough is enough. Niki imagine vile nimeona watoto huko na kina mama. Wakilia, wakiangaika. Where are they going to go? And the government, kama mulijua, for real hii shamba si mbona wakati ilikuwa kotini ya muku simamisha mukaambia watu wasijenge why do you let it come this far 10000 homes today being going under the nini where will those people standards of living mumeziweka in another level ah what where will they pick up from it is a disaster can you wake up and come to your senses na uongelee hii maneno we are watching now, while the water, we are a Kamba community and we are standing strong 
We are defending what is ours. We will not allow you to intimidate us. Now, to find you, you let to know.